G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Today's recipe suggestion comes from the following YouTube user. He also happens to be a very good friend of mine, so click on that link, it'll open up a new window to his channel, and please check him out. So today's recipe, is it a potato? Is it a donut? Well, to be honest, it's a bit of both. So join me today as I make my version of Spud Nuts. Now I'm going to start off this recipe with the most important ingredient, and that's the potato. So with a pot of boiling hot water, we're just going to put in our potato and we're going to let this boil away for about 15 minutes just until it's nice and tender. Okay, so you can tell it's done just by sticking a fork through and if it goes through nice and easy, that means it's ready. Okay, so while the potato is cooling into a bowl with warm milk, we're going to place in our dry active yeast and it's going to give that a quick mix in. And it should take about 10 minutes to activate. Okay, so into a mixing bowl, we're going to place in our water, then our olive oil. You can also use vegetable shortening or meat shortening if you like, but personally I prefer the olive oil. And then our sugar. Now using a hand mixer or a stand mixer, we're just going to beat this up just until the sugar is completely dissolved. Okay, now that the sugar is dissolved, we're going to place in our mashed up potato our salt and our yeast mixture and we're just going to crack into eggs and we're just going to sprinkle in some ground nutmeg then we're just going to mix this until it's well combined okay so now that's all mixed in we're going to add in our all-purpose flour now if you don't have a stand mixer just use a wooden spoon just to mix it in otherwise we're going to use a dough hook and we're just going to mix this until it forms a nice dough. Okay, and it's mixed. Now it's going to be a little bit sticky. That's exactly how you want it. Okay, so now that it's been thoroughly mixed through, we're just going to cover it up just with some plastic wrap. And we're going to let this sit here for about 40 minutes and in that time it should double in size. Okay, so as you can see it is now doubled in size. So we're just going to flour a chopping board and grab it a mixture we're just going to whack that on. Now slowly flour just the top and we're going to grab a rolling pin I'm just going to slowly flour that as well. So what we're going to do now is just I'm going to roll it out. We're going to do it so it's about say about that thick. You don't want it too thick. So about a quarter of a centimetre. Okay, so next I'm going to use a donut cutter. Now I don't expect everyone to have one of these. I just found this online by searching and I bought it online. But if you don't have one, what you can do is use a cup. You're going to cut out the indentation as so. And what you're going to do is use a knife. You're going to cut out a middle bit as well. So what I'm going to do now is put this on some non-stick baking paper. Okay, so once we've got all our spud nuts made up, I'm just going to give it a quick spray over the top just with some cooking spray oil. And we're just going to cover them up with some more baking paper. And we're just going to let them sit here until they double in size. Okay, so now that the spud nuts have doubled in size, now for this I'm going to use a deep fryer because it just works out so much better. So I've got it set to 190 degrees Celsius. So we're just going to put those into the basket. And we're just going to lower them right in. So it should only take them no more than two minutes to cook these things. So after about a minute or so, we're going to check the first side. Once it's golden brown, then we're going to flip it over and do the other side. Okay, so now they're ready to turn over. It's just a simple matter of using some tongs just to turn them over. And we're just going to let this cook for about another, say, 40 seconds, give or take. Just until they're nice and golden on the other side. Okay, so as you can see, they're nice and cooked just on the other side there. So it's just a matter of pulling this up. And we're going to let this drain for about 20 seconds, then we'll put them onto a plate and just continue on until they're all done. Okay, so next into our bowl, we're going to place in two cups of icing sugar or confectionery sugar. Then one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Okay, next I've got some boiling hot water. Now, we're going to add a little bit at a time. And we're just going to mix it through until we get a nice thick paste. Okay, now the final step is just a simple matter of grabbing our spud nuts and we're just going to roll them in this lovely glaze mixture. And just drain them off and place them on a plate. Okay, and they're done. And I'll tell you what, they look fantastic. 
They are very similar to normal donuts, but with a twist. But enough of that, let's give one of these a try. Mm. Oh man, that's so good. That has a very light and fluffy texture. With their glaze on top, it tastes like a lovely sweet donut. But with the potato in there, it does add a distinct taste. And I'll tell you what, it works. It really, really does. These spud nuts taste simply delish. Now I challenge everyone to give these a go at least once because they are worth it. They really are. Thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. A list of ingredients down below as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus pages. Please do me a huge favor by giving this video a thumbs up and leave a comment and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.